What's up, family? Yeah, so Chelsea Clinton, former first daughter, Bill and Hillary Clinton's daughter. So she's fixed her mouth to try to come to the defense of Donald Trump and his weird family, his entitled family, his attention-seeking, money-hungry, grubbing, hustled American people family. It goes like this, folks. Chelsea Clinton made a controversial statement Monday saying that politics has no bearing when it comes to protecting Donald Trump and his family, responding on Twitter to individuals who believe that the security detail assigned to Trump's family should be reduced, Clinton wrote, it makes me very sad to read this and to know that anyone would ever say this the president's family protection should not be politicized. She entered the Twitter conversation after seeing a tweet by journalist Yasa Ali, who brought the issue to Clinton's attention. Some say Trump's kids shouldn't have Secret Service, Ali tweeted. Do you not care about what crisis that would arise if one of them were kidnapped or hurt? Clinton's tweet marks the latest in an ongoing dialogue about Trump's mounting security cost. Clinton received quite a bit of backlash for her defense of the Trumps. One Twitter user responded by saying, true, Secret Service protection also shouldn't be abused, as it has been with Melania in New York scenario and multiple golf and ski trips. People are justifiably furious. Melania Trump and her son Barron have remained at the Trump Tower apartment in New York instead of moving to Washington. In February, New York Police Department Commissioner James O'Neill estimated that it cost between $127,000 and $146,000 every single motherfucking day to protect them. As a former first child, Chelsea Clinton has come to the defense of Trump's family before. Responding to Baron Trump's detractors in January, Clinton tweeted, Baron Trump deserves the chance every child does to be a kid. All right, so let me break this down for y'all. So Chelsea Clinton comes to the defense of Donald Trump, a person who personally attacked her mother and her father vehemently, totally disrespecting them for years after he took their money, well, actually after he gave them money to buy favors that they had when they were in office, when they were, when President Clinton was in office. So this man totally disrespects your family and everything that you're about, spits on everything that you're about and you come to their defense, this is what I always say about Democrats. This is why Democrats, liberals are so weak-minded. They're too quick to forgive. They don't stick to the code. This bleeding heart, that's why they call them bleeding heart liberals. They don't know how to stick to the code. Man, when Donald Trump don't like somebody, he stick to the code and never like them, ever. When he has an agenda, he sticks to that. He didn't like Obama, and he let you know for eight years straight, and he stuck to the same old birthing issue. With your mama, Chelsea Clinton, he stuck to the code, and he kept on kicking up dust on those emails. For what, like, Two damn whole years he talked about emails. Yeah, he would not let it go. You got to stop being so quick to forgive. Now, with all that damn forgiveness you got in your heart, you still got attacked by Republicans. They were on your ass. In fact, let me read a quote for you, Chelsea. This is from a Republican that was online making comments about your 
support for Donald Trump and his family getting protection from the Secret Service. It says, let's see, where is it? Uh, Chelsea, do 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 do. You can't. Uh, uh, oh, Chelsea, praise Chelsea. Chelsea looks like a fucking horse in the face. That's what a Don now this is what a Donald Trump supporter said about you after you praised him. Say you look like a horse. Another Trump supporter called you, said that he can't trust you any more than he can trust your mother. Another Trump supporter called you a lying piece of shit. This is why you stick to the cold. When you have an enemy, you must crush your enemy. Keep your foot on your enemy's neck and never relent. You can be sure that Donald Trump would have never came to your defense. I don't give a fuck what the situation was. You can be certain that Ivanka Trump, Barron Trump, Melania, none of them, Donna Jr., none of the other ones, or even the kids he got out of wedlock. None of them would come to your defense. But you're coming to his defense. This is what I'm saying about liberals. This is the problem with liberals. The Secret Service right now is protecting three residents. This is what I know so far. It may be more. You got the Trumps, the White House. You got the White House. You got the New York address. And then you got, I think, one of his sons. Yeah, his son. That's just what I know. They may be, they may be protecting more than that. But they, this dude, they're saying that Trump, just protecting Trump and trips in one year, he's going to I spin Obama for eight years that he was in the White House. But this is the dude that's supposed to come in and save us all this money. This is the fiscal conservative. This is the guy who's supposed to come in and make things right. He gonna save money, he gonna cut the deficit, he gonna drain the swamp. That's what he said he was gonna do. He said he gonna drain the swamp. Yeah, he drained the damn swamp all right and put the, all the money, put everything he got out of the swamp straight in his damn pocket. That's what he did. Chelsea, see, another thing is this you gotta look at. Chelsea, is the recipient of Secret Service protection. So it could be a case where she's trying to cover her own ass. She knows if she says something about the Trump's protection, it may cause people to pay more attention to how much protection she's getting and how much the public is spending on her. But again, that should not matter because if you think like the Republicans think, you would stay on code and do and make everybody else do as you say, not as you do. Because I can guarantee you if you switch the roles and this was former President Trump and his family, I can guarantee you that they would not side with you. I can guarantee you that they would stick to the code and they would say, you know what? They're spending too much money on those damn Clintons for Secret Service protection. They need to stop wasting the Americans, uh, people's money. It's crazy. That's what they would say. That's what you don't understand. It is ridiculous. This is what, he, what did SCD say? He said, this is what he said. This is what was said. Uh, Chelsea said, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? She entered the Twitter conversation after seeing a tweet by journalist. Some say Trump. Do you care? Clinton's tweet marks the latest. And da da da. Okay, so responding to the individuals who believe that the security detail assigned to Trump's family should be reduced, Clinton wrote, "It makes me very sad." 
to read this. It makes me very sad. Sad? Oh, and she went on to say that, you know, we shouldn't be um, ridiculing them for having security. We should protect them and then just vote them out of office. How about not protecting their asses and voting them out of office too? Why you can't do both? You can't walk and shoot bubblegum at the same time? How about that? It don't, they, I think they had like a hundred damn security personnel, secret service people for one of the Trump sons. A hundred, one hundred damn security people. I think that's normally more than what a damn president gets. That man, that is crazy. But they don't see a problem with spending all this damn money. See the thing about those damn conservatives, them Republicans, man, they stick to the code. Deep down, they know damn well that's way too much money to be spending on security, on Secret Service. They know it's too much, but they stick into the code. They're saying like, but 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 also they self entitled. So their attitude is that it's never too much for us. It's never too much for me, and my people, and my agenda. It's never too much. Gimme, 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 gimme. But when it come to you, stop it. You're being greedy. You're looking for a handout. You want free stuff. That's what they like to say. They like to say stuff like that. Anytime somebody says something about the government actually doing the job that the government is supposed to do, like actually help people, like help the citizens of the country, like God forbid the fucking government actually do something for its citizens to assist its citizens, especially as poor and as, as needy, as downtrodden. Boy, God forbid the government actually does something, uses the people's taxes to help the people, to benefit the people, God forbid. But only if it's to help the poor and the needy that are on the other side. If you poor and you needy and you on this side, shit, it's all good. That is the hypocrisy of the Republican Party. It is the hypocrisy of Donald Trump. And this damn crying and, and having this ultra compassion and all this shit that the, that the Democrats have, the liberals have, man, y'all need to get off that shit because if you don't, you're going to lose again in the next term. A lot of people voted for Donald Trump because they think he got nuts. They think he hard. Some dudes said the reason why he voted for Trump was because he's a man. I mean, he's just a man. What he really means is that he got a lot of testosterone and he don't mind going off on a motherfucker. That's really what he's talking about. You know, he got that masculinity thing going on. He's ultra uh, alpha male. That's what he's talking about. But that's what it is for you Democrats, man. It's going to be rough on you over the next few years with all this crying and forgiving that you're doing. Uh, I'm on one of those, man, you don't like me, I don't like you type things, you know. And I'm sticking to the code. You ain't going to never hear me say one damn thing nice about that bastard while he in office, him or his family. I ain't saying shit nice about him because I can't see nothing nice in him. I'm sticking to the code. Praise to, you know what, I'm going to say praise to Chelsea Clinton for trying to bring everybody together. You know, stepping up for the Trumps. You know, perhaps Chelsea can counteract this cancerous hatred that divides us and she can give us hope for a better America so that we can all someday be free and be able to not even have to have secret service. Can you imagine a world with no secret service where the president and his underlings and his offsprings can just roam freely and you know, without fear of attack? Can you imagine a world with where there's love and blue skies every day and butterflies 
and harmony and peace and there's no racial disparities. Maybe Chelsea Clinton is on to something. Maybe Chelsea knows something that we don't know. Maybe Chelsea reaching out to the other side and extending the olive branch will bring us closer, will help Donald Trump to see the error of his ways and will cause his detractors to someday be his friend. Not. <laughs> no more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn. Order, Texas.